Hello, Rick and welcome back to Commission Black Sea in this head-to-head -head game against Chap. And we're heading into turn 12, I think. Uh, and yeah, and hopefully we're going to see this little uh, gift of ours find its mark on Chap's Bradley IFV, which would be a fantastic way because we are a little behind in the uh, vehicle killing competition. We've currently lost three vehicles to chaps one, so I would very much like to even the score a little bit. Let's maybe we'll go up a, a bit higher. We can also watch the uh, the intimate replay if it does indeed hit, or otherwise we'll probably watch it anyway. Let's run the minute as she goes. Beautiful. Okay, that's a very good start. Interesting to have a look at that infantry as well before we get uh, further into the turn. I uh, can see whether that Bradley's fine one. Looks like he might be making a little bit of pushing with the force he's got on this side. Again, I'm, I regret not taking a second UAV at this stage, although they were quite pricey. Oh, an interesting spot of some um, infantry moving through woods here. Oh, hello. Eyes on you. Oh, you do. Okay, interesting. Okay. First and foremost, let's watch this little uh, bundle of joy again. Bye bye. It looks like he's pulling back with the kind of javelin team he had there as well. And what else did we spot? We got a second infantry ping at some point. Okay, it looks like he's attempting to reinforce this position here with a. What's this? Oh, that's a machine gun. Okay. They're trying to push forward a few, a few more people, presumably just to keep, uh, hold his bit on the edge of the. Victory point here, which we're now going to obviously look to try and pressure him on. Ideally, take out. Bradley is still shooting up this tree line. That's fine. I would like to try and get some eyes on this position. But I'd like a lot of things we're not necessarily going to get. Otherwise, we can see a bit more sound contacts through here, but that's not that. Particularly interesting. And then what is he attempting to do with this Bradley? Just potentially try and flank us or strengthen his forces a little bit. Right at that. Now we don't have much in the way of here of anti vehicle support. We also have one Bradley par parked here, but we don't have any JAV teams. Uh, we don't even have any 84s. We're a bit thin on the ground, to be perfectly honest. Uh, we are going to bring this Bradley over, I think, and try and get some assistance. Uh, I think it's 84 is all he's got, but it's better than nothing. Okay. Let's jump into the ground phase. Do you know... We have a javelin team there. Okay. I would like to try and shoot that javelin. Can I find myself in position? You can do a little bit engaging. If you were to move up to this point. It's a shame you can't uh, keep them there. Right here. Just paint these trees, couple of specs of land, fine and dandy. I'd very much like to try and shoot up a scooch if we can. And then we'll run away. We can't target directly. I wonder if we do. We might be able to do something like that. Yeah. Maybe that might cause some uh, collateral damage in that team. You don't know. 
I think we're okay to maybe come along, pop up, and give it a little bit of a go. These guys have done very well, and I'm actually going to get them to continue to and slowly move up there. Yeah, that's fine. These guys are in a pretty good position. I wonder if you, well, I'm surprised they have my line of sight onto this. They do. Oh, shoot them then. Don't use javelins, but please, have at them. Uh, oh, we did see infantry coming through this wood line, which we have to keep an eye on. One thing we could do is utilize this gentleman. I'm not quite in a position where I want to fully push along, but I'm happy to do a little bit of a tentative pop out and shoot, and then run away again. Get where that marker was, just there. The only problem with the kind of, you know, the, the elite stuff where you, your troops don't have all the same kind of level of knowledge. Right place. Oh, further up. As you got to this kind of back and forth, because obviously you know exactly where it is. Okay, that seems reasonable. And again, we're just going to pop out. We'll do a little bit of shooting. We'll run away. And I'm just going to give you... Maybe a 10 second pause. A javelin team here. Bradley, who's kind of shooting up this tree line. We have R and Bradley back here who... Mm, can't really see much. Do you know what we're going to get you to do? Yeah. Bit of a tail position. Let's have you hunt over this way. We just kind of pop up to the corner of this building and see if you can get eyes on that Bradley. Probably wouldn't want to hang around there too long. You never know who's lurking, but uh, I think that'd be reasonable. And one of the question is, well, two questions. One is, did you ever recover your javelin? You did. And then don't want to try and push these guys slightly out. Uh, I think I'm okay for just now. Beautiful. Now, we should, should, we should still be calling down some artillery around here. I mean, when it starts falling, I think we're trying to try and push in towards this uh, major victory point a little bit. Um, On the flank. Now, I'm a little worried about pushing you across here. But I think we're needs must. Although, hang on, this is just gonna... Yeah, maybe don't do that, actually, because I'm just gonna get shot at by that Bradley. I think we're gonna do is pull... Pull what, actually? Hmm... Me just have to, gonna have to almost give up this position. Which is not ideal. Have some eyes, but not many. And then Willing is still want to try and put someone in a position that's going to see this Bradley come around. Although presumably he's not just going to swing around this isolated point. Useful scouting info that our man there's got. You're just keeping your eyes out here. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I'm going to have you deploy because you might as well because you're there. I don't feel like I've used my machine gun teams well at all this uh, scenario, but hey, -ho. have you pull back slightly. You need to watch. I think he definitely got this angle covered. Well, this Bradley is quite a good cut off he's got there. I would love to have some more, more eyes in the skies. Yeah, we're kind of focusing on turning this objective right now, which I am on board with. Be a little more aggressive with our shooting. Shell should fall in a few minutes, and then we'll see if we can't push some more forces over and, and uh, pee. That would be That would be nice if it happened. I really would like to do more with my marksmen to get in a position where they can maybe see better the units that are pushing up, especially if there's less of a threat. So let's, although... 
right, of the large caliber shells coming from Bradley are all, always existing. But let's move you guys. Wait a minute. Let's push you over there. Just make sure you've got line of sight across the scrub land here. Now, obviously, it's the lip that, that causing the, the biggest problem with being able to see stuff. There's a little bowl here they're using the traverse. Uh, which, yeah, until we get up on this edge, we're not really going to get eyes on. But hopefully we'll get there eventually. Uh, and ideally, if we get sight of this Bradley, that would be a good outcome. Now, we could... We could risk it. Move with you, actually. I get you to pull back to, say, here. And yourself forward and see if you can get eyes on it. So you may come on, might end up coming under small arms fire from over here. Again, something else I would love to shoot up, but let's see how it goes. And you're just getting shot, which is fine, to be honest. Oh, you should absolutely deploy your weapon. Good. Uh, and we've got our scouts in this building. At some point, I'm, I'm expecting a uh, chap to potentially just lay waste. See, and in fact, I should probably pull you out there. There's no point in having two units in the actual... Don't, you might be better served lurking in these bushes to try to pick off people up until a Bradley comes and beats your face in. Yeah, let's um, let's actually pull you back. I think probably somewhere like here, so we can try and get see see um, uh, what do you call it? infantry coming through that forest. I think would be a much better angle for you to hold, especially if you've got cover from a javelin team and then working together. You can solve all problems, he says. This seems fine for just now. You're kind of tucked away in the forest. I'm slightly worried about soldiers infiltrating over here. Um, and we may just want to pull back, actually. Leave up this forward position. But I'm going to put that thought in the back burner for just now. Cool. Okay, that was a good turn. We just need to keep applying the pressure for just now. Cool, I'll catch you next time. Cheerio!